All right, All thank right. you, John. Thanks, John. We want to welcome in our next guest here in the kitchen. I Thanks. love when yes. we use our first at four kitchen. This is Brianna Lyle. Uh, she's whipping up something delicious for us. Uh, you are with Zadie's Gourmet, yes. named after your pop. Yes, named after my boxer Pitbull from the Humane Society, Zadie. <laughs> Very after nice. After Zadie Smith, the author, yes. Oh, uh, tell terrific. us shortly about uh, Zadie's Gourmet and what you, what yeah, you do around Yeah, so that. I am a personal chef and I work within my client's home. And what that means is that I do the menu planning, the grocery shopping, wow. I go to your house, I plant a meal and that's on the table for you and your family. Oh, and then I put a few in the fridge for you for the week. That's the basis of my I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> wow, that sounds That's amazing. Fantastic. Yeah, it does. And I heard you say that you were a book publisher, uh, yeah. uh, for book editor. Ten, yeah, yeah. Book editor wow. For 10 years. Um, how did you make the switch? Yeah. Uh, did you go to culinary school? What, no, what? actually, I'm self taught. I've been very into cooking for the better part That's of a terrific. decade and just went on YouTube and learned first how to cut wow. and then how to make sauces. and. Over the last decade, people will keep saying, like, you should really do something with food. Mm -hmm. um, and I just decided to finally make the switch. And I hope that maybe in 10 years, I'll switch to something else, too. Yeah. I, I'm enjoying Terrific. getting older and changing careers and learning new things. What so. are you making for us today? Yes, linguine pomodoro crudo, which is just like a fancy way of saying a no-cooked tomato sauce. So this is great for August when everybody has, like, pounds of tomatoes. Yes. Yeah. And it's so easy. Again, no cook. So you're just going to need a grater. You're going to take a tomato, if you don't mind handing me sure. one. I, I guess I don't, I've never known this technique, grating tomatoes. Yeah, so it's pretty okay. cool. You're just going to score the top of your Roma tomato, which just looks like this, like a little X on top there. And then you're going to take your grater with your tomato, and you're just going to literally grate right over a big pan. And when oh, your wow. pasta is done, you're literally going to take it from the pot into this. So you can kind of see like a little bit of so that is scoring, is that like there. opening up the skin? So you're yep, not so you're just the opening the skin. skin. And what will happen is as you go down and as you can see, the skin just sort of goes yeah. to the side. And when you're all done, you'll have just skin. You have to give a little bit of a push too. Okay. Um, so when you're done, you'll see you just have this like skin left over, wow. toss it out and, and you go cool. on to the next tomato. Gosh, oh, okay. that's um, Yeah, yeah. So you, you do that. And then what you're going to do after that is you're going to add a little bit of garlic. Um, I'm using a microplane, but you okay. can totally use a garlic squeeze. That's Go. fine. And again, just grate it over your pan. Sorry, not your pan, your bowl, your mixing bowl. Wow. Simple, simple, simple. And I'm just going to, voila, TV style, ask somebody yep. to grab the yes. tomatoes that are already in there and for us. And we're running out of time for this portion yeah. of the segment, but of course we're going to come back when you put it all we're together. We're almost but done, I yeah. Love that. That. We just pour this in, and it's just a little bit of vinegar, evu, salt and pepper, and oregano, and that's it. Wow. So. Look that's that. wonderful. We'll show you all that's when we wonderful. come back. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Gosh, it, it, I have to imagine it like, keeps yeah, go the... Ahead. the taste of the tomato is so intact. You it know? is, no. yeah, and we're going to generously salt this right now okay. and let it sit for a few minutes. If you want to pass me that maldon right there. Yeah. And what that does is it breaks down the tomatoes. It really brings out the sweetness of the tomatoes. I used Roma, heirloom are even better than this, but just a regular um, Roma tomato really goes a long way in this okay. recipe. So we're just going to stir this. And should um, put the salt in. Yep, so salt, and then I'm going to take that Evu right there. Yeah. And on the recipe that I think they put on Facebook for you all, it's a cup, but this is um, a generous portion for everybody on here today okay. so that we can all snack. Oh, and okay. if you want to open that vinegar right okay. there. And we're going to have put, to come back. Yeah. Starting to run out of time here for this segment. Yeah, but show us how much vinegar about so you put in for this. Normally you would do two tablespoons per one pound of pasta. Today we're going to do like four tablespoons. Okay. Any vinegar, red wine vinegar is great. This is a white balsamic vinegar from mm -hmm. a store here that I really like. And, and doing a cooking class on oh, September 6th. Great so. <laughs> All right, okay. Bronnett, uh, stay put. We're going to yeah. join her at the end to finish this up. But yes.